Hello, I'm Dan Robinson with FPTV, here with Amy, a board member of the Elizabeth Richardson Center. Welcome, Amy. Thank you. Thanks for being here today. Absolutely. So tell us what the Elizabeth Richardson Center does. Elizabeth Richardson Center enhances the lives of adults and children with disability. Uh, what we do is we work with uh, children from birth through pre-kindergarten, and then afterwards, from about the junior year of high school, all the way till the end of life, making sure that lives of people with disabilities um, meet their maximum potential. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. So uh, so tell us how, how you do that over the course of the year. What kind of things do you do? That's a great question. So we have a number of uh, childhood um, resource facilities, um, all the way from Huntsville uh, to um, Springdale, Fayetteville, Salem Springs. And we bring these children in, and uh, it's uh, basically Monday through Friday. Um, we do therapy. Um, we educate the parents so that they know how to deal with their child with disability. We give them opportunities to learn and grow just as any other child needs the opportunity to. Um, from the standpoint of the adults, um, beginning around junior year of high school, uh, we have people throughout uh, the different school systems that go in and give these kids opportunities to come in and work. Uh, we have several um, on-site job opportunities uh, with Richardson Industries at the Elizabeth Richardson Center. Um, companies from all over Northwest Arkansas can bring their work to us and we can in turn let these um, students and young people have the opportunity to, feel what, to understand what it feels like to make a dollar. Um, and then we do have um, support homes where these individuals uh, can actually live in the home. It's a group setting, group environment, so they learn how to socialize. They learn cooking skills, health skills. We have gardens. Um, we have action clubs where they can be a part of uh, volleyball and softball organizations. Um, they take field trips. It's, it's a pretty rock star organization if you're a certain age because they are busy, busy people. Um, and then we also offer opportunities for them to learn how to live on their own and they can actually graduate from the homes and um, go out and, and live regular lives just like you and I. That's incredible. So it's education and it's uh, support for the families mm -hmm. and it's employment opportunities and all of those things combined in one organization? Absolutely. And oftentimes people, you know, use the word disable. And as a board member and having been a part of the organization for several years now, it's more about what are your abilities. Don't focus on the disability, but it's more so let us help you find what your abilities are. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. So how can the community support the Elizabeth Richardson Center? That's a great question. So one of the things is we need more and more companies to send us piecework. Um, one of the examples I can use is Walmart. Uh, we have done their rollback numbers for several years now. Um, they send us the, um, the numbers and our team at the Richardson Industry, our clients, they'll come in and they set up um, a manufacturing environment where they're peeling the numbers apart, putting them in sequential order and sending them back out to stores all over the United States. We need more companies like that to give these um, individuals an opportunity to earn a dollar, to understand what it feels like um, to put something out there. Set a goal for yourself. Um, as a mom of teenage kids, almost a college age student, all I ever want is for my kids to graduate and become a part of society, you know, an investment into society. Why would someone as a mother with a child with a disability want anything more? or less. So we give these kids opportunities to go out there and, um, and earn a dollar, as I had said. So we need other companies to get involved with Richardson Industries. Uh, we have a wonderful manager out there who's always on the prowl looking for other companies. Um, another way is to get involved with our, um, uh, with our children's uh, centers. Uh, many of the um, Civic leagues come in and do Christmas parties for our kids, and, um, but you know that's not enough. Um, why not come in and, and be a volunteer with us? We do have a, a garden and we've got um, a land that we've been growing uh, fruits and vegetables on. We would love to get involved with selling those fruits and vegetables, perhaps at a, farm, perhaps at a farmer's market. Um, and then also from the Action Club, um, we would love to have um, organizations help us with donations of t-shirts and, you know, get these, get these young adults and kids out there, you know, let's get some branding information, let, them, let people know who we are and what we do, but, um, you know, everything from being interested in the board um, to, you know, sending us funding, which we always love, but um, so many times people look at the word ERC and say, I don't know what it is. I'm not going to get involved, need more information. We're out there. We need you, um, and our clients need you. 
So ERC being Elizabeth Richardson Center. Absolutely, and Elizabeth Richardson was an amazing lady who started a school um, with uh, seven, let me find out, seven, four, 68, 1968? I'm so close, okay. <laughs> so Elizabeth mm -hmm. Richardson. Elizabeth Richardson um, in 1963 started a school in the basement of a Presbyterian church. And she had four students who just didn't quite fit the criteria that they needed to, you know, be in an, a normal school environment. And that's how it was born. So through that, 1963, here we are in 2016, and we have children of all ages, of all disabilities, and all abilities. So tell us more about how people can find out how they can get involved with the Elizabeth Richardson Center. We have a very informative webpage. It's ercinc.org. We also have a very active Facebook page that you can see our clients, see what we're all about, everything from the kids to the adults to the young people. Um, you can get an idea of Action Club and how we're um, actively involved in our community. That's wonderful. Thank you very much for the work you're doing for the community, and thank you very much for sharing with us today at FPTV. Thanks for putting the word out. It's a wonderful organization I'm proud to be a part of.